Hey Libros, welcome to your reading. Let's see what's going on with you. First, I'm going to get some oracle messages to see if we can find out who this message might be for, to see what resonates. Um, so crossroads here. Someone is in the middle of making a decision or changing course with something. There's some sort of like turning point in someone's life here. What else? Library. Someone here just could have purchased either like a large amount of books or you're starting to like create a library at home or like some sort of reading nook. You could be researching something. Okay, what else? The C. Okay, so maybe some of you are, I want to say like, marine biologists or into the marine um, animals or just the sea in general. I'm also getting, um, you do something uh, with global warming, you could be some sort of activist or you are um, studying something to do with global warming or like algae, okay? Some of you could be going on a vacation where you will be um, next to some sort of ocean. Beach, yeah. <laughs> Someone's going on a vacation to a beach here. Um, you could be increasing your gym activity, you know, I don't know. I see someone relaxing though and, and definitely having a good time. So that's nice. That's nice, Libra. That's nice. <laughs> I'm getting someone's name could be Shelly. So what is the current energy for Libra right now? Yeah, study, discovery, pause. Okay. So, a new endeavor is upon you. It may require new knowledge and skills. Put the intention out into the universe, and the right teacher will soon find you. Discovery, new ideas, people, opportunities may be coming your way. While there is still work to do to reach your goal, you may discover new strengths and passions along the way. Pause. A much-needed timeout is in order. You've worked hard A dedicated, um, and dedicated a lot of time and energy. Take a break and reflect on all of your accomplishments. Yeah, I'm just getting someone going on vacation. That's pretty cool, Libra. That's pretty sweet. You could have been working hard. I don't know if you're going to school or you went back to school or something, but like you're really, um, you've been, yeah, you've been working really hard and you're just ready to relax. Or this is what spirit wants you to do is go on a vacation. You know, you could really need to just unload your brain here. So what is the energy with crossroads? What is this? I'm seeing Athens, Greece. Someone could be going to Athens. Um, isn't there a beach there? Okay, anyway. Uh, okay, so crossroads. There's someone in your energy who's pretty impulsive, and this person could be a fire sign. What did this person do? Okay. So I see a separation here. This could be related to a relationship. This person went in... Hold on. What's the Three of Swords? You may have rejected this person or... Okay. I feel like in an effort to control themselves, um, someone here rejected you. But they're still holding on to your energy? Yeah, they're still holding on to your energy. 
What? What is this person? Okay. All right. So some of you, you may have just like told this person you need a break. Um, cause the sun in reverse went over this pause. Um, so something just needs a time out. Okay. This person could have ghosted you, could have ghosted them. Yeah. Someone is just unrealistic when it comes to the connection here. What are the, what are, uh, what's this person's next step towards Libra? I feel like they're going to act out of lack here. Okay. So because of, I feel like someone just, Someone just shut someone out because you, you basically put things on pause here with the hanged man. And I feel like this is causing this person to kind of be open to either changing themselves or something or their actions. This is Aquarius energy. Also have Leo. Okay. Uh, how does this person feel about the Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? I feel like they're feeling very emotional towards you at this time, Libra. Um, I feel like you could have told them something very discerning. And this is you. Uh, in a way where you, you may have even told them, like... I'm kind of like, if you do this again, I'm not going to be here for it. And they may have done it again. Um... I don't know if you have exact proof of it, but it's like you went and you saw something here with the Virgo. I'm sorry, with the Hermit, which is a Virgo energy card. But um, I feel like you saw something or you you were able to see beyond the veil and you were able to see something coming to the point where you didn't want to be here for it. You didn't want your energy attached to it. You, this person um, repeatedly made the same mistakes. Repeatedly. Yeah. You saw this for what it was. Okay. So, um, what are, what is, uh, so what are, what are they going to do here? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Oh. Oh boy. They want reconciliation, Libra. They want reconciliation real hard. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups reversed, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Libra, they understand who you are to them. I don't know if they just needed to be, you know, kind of strung up and... I, I don't want to say punished, but I feel like you kind of balance the scales yourself in this situation. You know what I mean? And... They're going to take sudden inspired action towards you here with the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, this is really good energy. Lots of Virgo. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or something. I feel like this person wants to make things right. They're they're sick of and tired of the game playing. Um, this is something you could have been waiting for for a while with the Ten of Pentacles. This is something that's taken a long time to come in. This could be uh, a relationship that's, you know, been going on for like two to three years. Yeah. Okay, let's get some let's get some messages, no contact messages cuz I'm getting like separation energy. So let's see what they have to say for themselves. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't need oracle cards like this? <laughs> and people would just say what's on their mind. That would be nice, right? Okay, uh, what are messages from Libra's person? Bottom of the deck, what you don't know is that this person is secretly obsessed with you. <laughs> you are so beautiful inside and out. I hide my true desires for you. I don't want to let you go. I miss being with you. 
I'm always here for you. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. So for some of you, there's actual physical distance or it's just emotional ever since you kind of strung them up here. <laughs> I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Definitely getting ghosted situation here. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. And last but not least, I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. So this person has probably never really truly told you how much um, they think about you. That you know this, and I'm seeing here the King of Cups on the bottom of one of my other decks here, and it's like this person thinks about you a lot. This person has a lot of deep emotions for you. They just don't express it. You know, they don't express it. So, and it's and it's difficult too, right, Libra? Because it's like, how are you to know? Um what to do in a situation if you have no idea what this person's thinking half the time, you know? What is advice for Libra in this situation? You have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. So no matter what in this situation, Spirit really wants you to not hold yourself back, okay? And, you know, if this person's actions are going to inevitably hold your, hold you back in any sort of cycle, if this person can't evolve with you, if this person can't change with you, they will need to be left behind. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, don't ever let anyone, um, you know, you got to set clear boundaries. And I feel like you've done that. Just don't backpedal, you know, just keep moving forward, Libra. All right. Thanks. Bye.